the sea. An option open to all of us. The cradle of life, which came into existence some 3.5 billion years ago, when the first monocellular organisms appeared and gradually evolved into the animals and plants of today. Some of these, such as humans, adapted to living conditions that existed on land, and others returned to sea forever, such as marine mammals. Seas cover three-fourths of the planet and produce 50% of its oxygen. The Mediterranean, our sea, a mere drop in the ocean as it constitutes 0.8% of the world's seas, contains an incredible number of animals and plants, second only to the immense by comparison Caribbean. marine species endemic to the Mediterranean, 447 live in Greek seas, while 8% of all species inhabiting the Mediterranean Sea are close to extinction. This should come as no surprise, since it is one of the most heavily populated regions of the planet. 30% of world shipping passes through these waters, while a large percentage of maritime traffic traverses the Greek seas. Moreover, Greek seas comprise one-third of the Mediterranean, and within its 16,000-kilometer coastline, 17,000 fishing vessels fish, and 24,000 fishermen struggle daily to survive. Struggling to survive are also nine marine mammals, seven of which are threatened with extinction, according to the Red Book of Endangered Animals of Greece. Mammals, a huge group of animals, all of which share a common characteristic. They breastfeed their infants and raise them with great care. Of these, marine mammals were first recorded in 350 BC in Aristotle's Historia Animalium. He was also the first to distinguish them from fish for these characteristics and the fact that they breathe air. The Mediterranean monk seal, Monachus monachus, the whales, dolphins, sperm whales, Ziphius, and the harbor porpoises are marine mammals that inhabit our seas and share their home with us. This home is essential to them in order to continue to live, feed, and breed.